Hey friends, welcome to Codage. In this session, we will see how to create AWS Lambda function using Java and we will deploy it using SAM CLI. So first, let me create project using IntelliJ. So our project name will be AWS Lambda SAM Deploy. I will be using Gradle as a build system. JDK will be version 11 and let's click on the create button. So our project is generated successfully. So let me delete this auto generated code. Now in the build.gradle file, we will add dependency for the Lambda function. So let me add dependency. Dependency will be AWS Lambda Java code. And let me add few more configuration like compatibility version for the Java. So this is the configuration for that. So our compatibility version will be Java version 11. And second configuration I have added for creating a zip file. So this zip file will contain our executable jar file and all its dependencies. So let's refresh the dependencies. And let's create a class for the Lambda function. Class name will be Lambda YT demo. And here we will implement one interface that is called request handler. It will accept string and it will return string. Okay, let's implement the method that is a request, sorry, that is a handle request. And it will return one message that will be a test message from Lambda function. Okay, so Lambda function will return this message. And let me log our event that we are going to send to our Lambda function. I will be using Lambda logger for that. And you can get object for Lambda from the context. Let's log the event. Okay, so this will be our Lambda function. Now we will add one more file that is called template.yaml file. So let me add that file. So this template.yaml file is going to use by AWS Cloud Formation Service. Okay, so in the template.yaml file, we are going to define our resources. That is our Lambda function. And the SAM CLI will convert this template.yaml file into the cloud formation template file. And that template file is going to use by AWS cloud formation service. So let me copy the code for the template.yaml file. And let me explain the code. So this is a default configuration that comes with the template.yaml file. Then we are defining the runtime for our Lambda function that will be Java 11. Then this is a mandatory field that is defining the resources. So we are defining resource that is of the type Lambda. So for defining Lambda, you need to write AWS serverless function like this. You can define any name here. And here we are defining the properties for our Lambda function. So function name will be Lambda demo for YT. This is the name you will see in the AWS console for the Lambda. Here we are defining the handler. Handler will be our method name that is a handle request. This is our class name that is Lambda YT demo within this package. Okay, next is a code URI. We will generate a zip file and path for this zip file will be code URI. Okay, next is a timeout. Timeout is a 15 second for our Lambda function. And last one is a policies. Here we are defining the role for our AWS Lambda. So cloud formation will create this role for our Lambda function. Okay, so let's build the project. Let me open the terminal. Okay, so our build is successful. Now you can see here the build created and in the distribution, you can see the zip file is created. Okay, now what we will do, we will build our project using SAM command. So 
So let me run the sam command. Now what sam build command will do? It will generate the artifacts. Okay. In this folder that is dot aws hyphen sam. So if you go back into the IntelliJ, you can see this folder is created. And what this folder will consist of? This folder will contain template.yaml file. Okay. And build.toml file. So this build.toml file will have a reference to our zip file that we have created here. Okay. And this is the same template.yaml file that we have created earlier. And this whole content is going to upload it into the S3 bucket by SAM CLI. Okay. So let's deploy this artifacts. So we can deploy that artifact using SAM deploy hyphen hyphen guided command. So let me write that command. Now this command will do three things. First, it will guide you to configuring your application as we have added this hyphen hyphen guided flag. Second, it will upload your artifacts into the S3 bucket. Third, it will transform your AWS SAM template that is template.yaml file into AWS cloud formation template. And that template is going to use by AWS Cloud Formation Service to create our AWS resources. That is Lambda function. So let me run it. So it is asking for the stack name. So let me give demo stack. Now it is asking for the AWS region. So my default region is AP South hyphen one. You can enter your default region. And let's press the enter button. Now it is asking for confirm changes before deployment. And one more thing, if you observe, whatever the values you can see in the bracket, that will be a default value. So here you can see capital N. So if you press the enter button, it will consider N as a default option. So confirm the changes before deployment. I want to confirm, I am entering S. Allow SAM CLI. I am role creation, press enter, disable rollback, press enter, save arguments to configuration file, press enter, SAM configuration file that will be SAM config.toml. Now SAM deploy will create this file, SAM config.toml file. Okay. And this file will contain all your configuration that you have entered. Okay. So now next time, whenever you deploy your application, it will use same configuration from this file. Okay, so let's press the enter button. SAM configuration environment, that will be default, press enter, and it is creating the required resources. Okay, so it is asking for the deploying this chain set. So let's go into the configuration so you can see it has created this s3 bucket and in this s3 bucket it has uploaded our artifacts okay now you can see all your deployment configuration here and you can see in the intellij it has created sam config.toml so it contains all the configuration that you have used while deploying your application Now you can see here what resources it is going to create. So it is going to add these two resources that is functional role for our Lambda. And second one is the Lambda function itself. Let's enter the S. Let me go into the AWS console. And let's go into the cloud formation. Okay, now you can see there are two stacks are created. If you click on the default one, and if you click on the events, you can see it has created the SAM CLI source bucket. Okay, and it has created successfully. Then it has created a policy for the bucket. So let me go into S3 bucket. So you can see here S3 bucket is created and in the S3 bucket, it has uploaded our artifacts. Okay. 
now lambda function will use this artifacts and it will execute our code now let me go back into the cloud formation let's refresh this and you can see demo stack is created you can see all the events that is lambda function role is created lambda function is created and if you go back into terminal and it will also show what resources it has created so you can see create complete for the lambda function role then lambda function itself then at the end demo stack is created successfully now let's go into the lambda function now you can see here our lambda function is created if you go into the code section you can see here runtime is jdk 11 and it also has configured our handler method that is handle request okay this is our class name and this is our package now let's click on the test we will test our lambda function so let's give it a name that is test event and let's click on the test now you can see our lambda function has returned message successfully and if you go into the cloud watch let's click on the recent one and you can see it has logged the message successfully that is test event for lambda so that's it for this lecture we have successfully deployed lambda function using sam cli thanks for watching the video